recognized Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. And Israel, Israel is, is going into the West Bank and killing children. It's never doing that deliberately. Never. Israel has a right to defend itself, and that means do that to the hilt. I fear what happens in these situations is, yeah, people say Israel can respond. Then a week later, then two weeks later, then people start to blame Israel. The president and I take very seriously our commitment to Israel and to the people of Israel to support them, and in particular to give Israel what it needs to defend itself. The Jewish state has an absolute right to exist, a divine gift, gifted to a divine nation, charged with a divine purpose. Israel has an absolute and unequivocal right and responsibility to defend itself to the fullest, applying the only language that its adversaries understand, the language of force. If Israel wants to destroy Hamas, Israel should go ahead and destroy Hamas. I'm just getting started. If Israel wants to destroy Hezbollah, Israel should go ahead and destroy Hezbollah. If Israel and Mossad want to pull off Munich 2.0 and take out every last leader of Hamas, wherever they may be hiding from Doha to Dresden, host a red wedding at the Four Seasons in Qatar, the next time Hadieh and Mashal show up, they should go ahead and do it. If Israel wants to at long last abandon the myth of a two-state solution, Israel should go ahead and abandon a two-state solution. And I'll say this to, to Prime Minister Netanyahu, finish them. Finish them. Support Israel, whatever they need, whenever they need it, no questions asked. Research flatter.